what's good YouTube today I'm gonna be doing a dual PC streaming guide I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up everything with the NDI tools that means that you don't have to have OBS running on your main gaming computer so this is a bit of an updated version from my last tutorial should work a little bit better it should keep your gaming PC at a lower level of usage so yeah let's get to the tutorial I hope you guys enjoy this one it's just a static on a conventional streaming setup, you just have the Ethernet going straight from the router into the gaming PC, then the gaming PC is playing the game and also doing the work of encoding the frames and sending them out to a streaming service. So you're going to want to connect one Ethernet from your router into the main input of the Ethernet switch. Then you're going to want to connect an Ethernet cable from your streaming computer and your gaming computer to two of the ports on the Ethernet switch. The green line here represents the flow of the video stream, so it's going to get sent from your gaming PC through the switch to your streaming PC. That only takes network bandwidth, and then your streaming PC is going to use its processing power to encode the video and send it out to whatever streaming service you're using. What's going on guys? As you can see, we're back in my office now. I'm going to show you guys how I have the hardware for all my stuff set up. So basically, it's just, I have my Ethernet cord coming out of the wall, which might be coming out of your router right now. Unless you have an Ethernet port, it runs across over here. It goes into my uh, Ethernet switch. The white Ethernet is my main uh, connection. Then I have two yellow Ethernets coming out of these ports. One runs up and into my laptop over there. And the other one goes into my desktop computer right here. So having everything set up this way with the Ethernet switch and the Ethernet cables allows you to basically send your video stream through the switch to your other computer where it can then be encoded and sent out to whatever streaming service that you're using like Twitch or Mixer or whatever. So I'm going to hop back on my PC and we're going to get into the software side of things. It's pretty simple. Let's get it done. So for the first step of the software process, you're going to want to go to this URL, ndi.tv slash tools and this is going to be where you're downloading the ndi tools which is going to have the application in it that's going to allow us to send the video over the network so you're going to go to this url scroll down here get new tech ndi tools 4 you're going to hit download pick your operating system which is going to be for me is going to be windows you're going to have to put in some information in here i'm going to put my stuff in real quick all right then you're going to click download after you fill in your stuff Click this download button here that pops up. All right, so once that's done downloading, you're basically just gonna run that uh, exe file that you just downloaded. Sometimes these new tech NDI uh, app things take a little while to display. So make sure that you're just patient with it. Give it a few seconds to load up. Accept, hit next, next. Here, you just the only thing you really wanna make sure is that this run at Windows start is not checked. You wanna make sure that's not checked on the virtual input. Oh, we're going to take all this. What we're mainly going to be using here is this right here, the scan converter. So there are some of these that you may not need, but just for the tutorial's sake, we're going to download all of them. This is what you're going to see when you fully finished installing NDI. Once you hit this step, you're going to want to restart your computer. So once you install NDI, you're going to restart your computer and then come back to the video. And then we'll get on to the next step. So once you've basically downloaded NDI tools and restarted your computer, you're going to go to the bottom left here on Windows and you're going to type in scan converter and you're gonna run this app. When you run that app, it's actually not gonna open anything on your screen. It opens in the bottom right over here where the hidden icons are. It's NDI scan converter in this menu. You right click it and then all your options are right here. So you have your frame rate options, your capture settings, audio source, uh, your webcam video or webcam audio. I do my webcam, I plug that into my streaming computer cause I keep my laptop on my desk. So I just plug my webcam straight into there. Once you have NDI Scan Converter running on your gaming computer, then you're ready to move over to your streaming PC and get NDI set up over there. All right guys, so I just finished installing OBS to my streaming computer here, which is my laptop. Um, the next thing I need to do is install the OBS plugin. So this is the OBS NDI plugin. I'm gonna include the link for this. It should be a GitHub link. That's gonna be in the description. You wanna come to this page, find the Windows installer right here. Click that. Once that's downloaded, you're going to run it. You're going to get this in, this uh, screen here from Windows, but you're just going to click more info and run anyway. You're going to want to click yes here on this screen. Click OK. Accept the agreement. 
next, install. So once you finish installing the OBS NDI plugin, it's gonna ask you to restart your computer. So you're gonna wanna do that, and once you restarted your computer, come back to the video. All right guys, so once you've downloaded the OBS NDI plugin and restarted your computer, the next time that you start it up, you're gonna wanna open OBS. Then you're gonna wanna come down here to where it says sources, click add a source, and you're gonna wanna click this one. It says NDI source. Here, you're gonna wanna click a new source, and then for the name right here, the amazing thing about this is, so since down here on my gaming PC, I have the NDI, and right now the scan converter is running, right over here on my streaming computer, it'll show my desktop. So this is my desktop with my GeForce 1080 Ti. I'm gonna click this, then I'm gonna click OK. So that's gonna add the display. Now I just have to wait for it to pick up the screen, and there you go. Now I have my widescreen monitor for my gaming PC is on my laptop from the stream. In order to get both your microphone audio and your um, desktop audio over to your streaming PC, you're gonna need to set the audio source in your NDI scan converter to your microphone. Once you have it, have it set to your microphone, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna add a new NDI source and that NDI source is gonna be audio only. So before we chose this NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti, for this one we're gonna choose audio only and we're gonna hit okay. Then we're gonna to wanna to drag this new source below the other one. And now you can see on the bottom here, one of these right now is my microphone. You can see it as I'm talking and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a sound on the desktop. So that NDI source four is getting my desktop and the NDI source three is getting my voice. So that's how you get both of them over onto the streaming computer. All right, so now you guys are done. All you need to do to stream is go live on your streaming computer on that OBS, and then you'll be good. So if you guys have any more questions or you need any more help, be sure to hop in my Discord. The link is down below in the description. Thanks, guys. Peace. It's just a static electricity. It's just moving to the sun.